Hello friends, my name is Gaurav. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is second video from the series Tips and Tricks for Competitive Programming. If you haven't checked first video from this series, I will recommend to go through it first as I have covered some prerequisites which will be useful going forward in this series. Alright, so today we will be discussing third problem from Java Introduction to Practice set of HackerRank. I will also share the problem link into the description. Here is the question statement. This problem will test your concepts of if-else which are also known as conditional statements. I will be sharing a link into the description from which you can get more clear understanding of this concept. Here is also given a nice diagram to explain the logical flow where you see if condition A is true, then it will run the logic B, else it will run the logic inside C. Here is a wiki link in case if you want to check, you can go through it. Now let's jump to the task, which says an integer n perform the following conditional actions. So if n is odd, then we have to print weird. And if n is even and inclusive range of 2 to 5, print not weird. So inclusive range means like it can be 2, 3, 4 or 5. Then in that case we have to print not weird. Also if n is even and inclusive of range 6 to 20, we have to print weird. And the fourth conditional action is if n is even and it is greater than 20 then we have to print not weird. Input will be given as a single line containing a positive integer which is n and output should be in string as weird or not weird. So only these two strings can be output. They have given a couple of samples in which the first one says in input integer is 3 which satisfy the first conditional action which is n is odd then we have to print weird so here you can see output is weird the other sample uh, test case is 24 so if n is 24 we will come here and see okay n is even and it is greater than 20 so our output should be not weird all right Let's jump to the solution for this question. We can see main method is already there, so we don't have to write it up again. And uh, here we are accepting input n using a scanner. The scanner concept I have already covered into my last video. So we have to start putting our solution after scanner.skip. So you can see I have pasted the code to check if n is odd and if n is odd we have to print weird so this n modulus 2 will actually give remainder n divided by 2 so what we are saying here if the remainder is not 0, that means it is not divisible by 2, so it is an odd number. Now let's cover the other three conditions. So if you want to check for other conditions, you can write up as else if. So if else if, else if like that. So it, it is also known as if else if ladder. It has letters. Now the other condition is if n is even and in the inclusive range of 2 to 5 we have to print not weird. So n should be automatically even because if this condition is false then only it will come to 23rd line. So we just have to check for if n is in between 2 to 5. 
so if n is greater than equals to 2 and operator n is less than equals to 5 let's copy this and paste it here but seems to give not weird similarly let's see let me copy this again now n should be greater than equal to 6 and less than equals to 20 in that case we have to print here now the last condition we can just say else and we can just print not weird sorry weird. that's it let's try to run it okay so we can see both the default sample test cases have run successfully now we can try to submit the code it will run against the hidden test cases you can you can see there are three four hidden test cases but you can see all get passed that's it friends for today I will be uploading more videos in upcoming days under this series. If you think this video was helpful, then please let me know the feedback for this video and also please hit the like button, share and subscribe.